Hello everyone and welcome back to Gore. So I'm going to jump straight to searching for a game in this um, and try to do a bit of loadout stuff. And we'll come back to the loadout stuff later if needs be. Um, just going to go in quick play. Gives us team death match and domination. So you know two good modes. Actually, just before we search for that, we have third party, uh, third person even third party, <laughs> third person mosh pit um, due to different like camera angle you can have. Uh, search and destroy if you like that. So you've got a couple of different game modes. You've got knockout, which and prisoner rescue. I think knockout similar to game mode that I think was in was it Cold War or the original Modern Warfare. Um, and then prisoner rescue. I've not tried yet. Uh, knockout. I've not. I've not tried anything other than the quick plane, honestly. Um, well, let's jump in and start searching for that. Um, Let's go over a couple of stuff. So you've got a few operators, you can just try the different skins on. Challenges, uh, I hidden away, but I'm pretty sure you do see daily challenges somewhere. Is it on here? Yeah, daily challenges you've got here. Um, so it has got some already out here for you. That was from Search for a Game. You've got just the store to kind of buy the game, I'm assuming that will turn into um, like in game items uh, when you know the game's actually launched. You've got a couple of locked characters and stuff. Um, field customization um, again something else that's probably going to come in handy like when the game's actually launched but it shows you a good variation of you know vehicles that should be available okay um, I have just muted in game I kind of forgot about that I've noticed a few times during the bit we do get blue screens though um, I'm not sure if that's happening just on PS4 or on PS5 as well Bit of a downside, obviously, this is just the PS uh, bit where this recording is coming from. Um, so, jump in, start searching again. Uh, so, we've turned off the in game chats, so that shouldn't be an issue. Kill streaks, you've got you know, some of your traditional ones. You've got like, a bomb drone, which I believe is something new, kind of UAV, you know, pretty old school. Um, plus the mine, I think that's new, care okay, package, precision. You know, you, you tend to have a bit of a variation in these, um, as they're, they're always there, so nothing wrong with that. Um, you know, you've got a ton across the way there, so I'm just going to leave them as is. Um, you know, it gives you something else to look about. It's good to have them and that you can play with them. Some are locked, uh, I believe, to level. Um, yeah, by looks of them, they're all pretty much locked to level, so there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but some of them you can unlock as you're playing the beta, which is awesome. And you've got a ton of uh, guns to go for as well. Um, which load out can I play? I'll play with this one because I'm not too fussed. The game's going to start, so like I said, we will come back to load outs and play a bit more. Um, you have got, just kind of going off the top of my head, um, you've got the uh, a couple of attachments you can unlock and experiment with. Um, I think the unlock at level 4, like normally, didn't actually check what level I unlocked the custom classes. Um, Plenty of uh, too soon. I'm just gonna try comment as I'm playing. Um, you know, good old domination and team death quickly, which is fine. I'm assuming they'll add more modes to quickly I'll let you filter them a little bit like further. Um as you come across, you can still quietly shift a couple of people's weapons, not wrong with that. Um, be a bit silly if you couldn't do that. Bit. Nah. This is hard to play and come on at the same time. It's not something I normally do, so do bear with us. I'm trying to hope you get a little bit of good content as I'm uh, playing and talking about stuff. Proximity chat's quite useful. Um, I might put it on just to see if I get a feel for it. Uh, knowing people have got mics on in the game, I've not got mine connected to the game, but it's on from the PC so you guys can. Here, We're taking yeah. Alpha. The enemy has <laughs> reloading to secure. The enemy holds all objectives. Secure those positions. We've already got camp little spots, so people have found out place to camp already, but you know it's it happens like even if the game would be happening. Um nothing really to complain about or anything. Flash out! On your stick! Camera spots this building by sea, I'm not gonna lie, since you need to quite a bit, I'm probably gonna absolutely ballsy up now, I've said it though. Secure your 
A lot of people tend to use quite a bit. With your till the end. Changing max. I think he's in the building, so it's not really an angle I can get. The enemy holds two objectives. Get them secure. Full steps are uh, at a decent level. You can hear them quite clearly, which is useful. I've had a few cods so waiting them all. all right, he's already over there. We know he is. teammate stop shooting that he knew we were there as well like you should keep watching it but no <laughs> um. the termites have got an extremely long throw rate i've not probably used to do uh, i'm just gonna try me a lot out it's easy to change the game always has been you know it's one more fire it's not um, so the Perks is a little bit different because you kind of start off with two and you'll knock others as you play the game. Um, that's something I've not seen done in top before, but I kind of like it. Um, it's almost like every perk specialist, it's got progression rail, um, as well as your kill streaks as well. Somebody's around here. Reloading! Changing back. Oh, come on. That was shocking for me. Here's what it is. I'm liking it starters with domination, though. It's going to give us a good bit of gameplay, and then we can uh, move on to. Friendly UAV online. Like, loadouts and stuff like that. Yeah, the lobby options. A lot of mods. So it's pretty cool. It's giving us a good. What's that? Oh. Switching back. Oh, keep off, he was still reloading. What? What? Enemy UAV active. Uh, a field bridge, a good bunch of them. I found on my first day of this, I ran out of ammo quite a bit, so munitions box were useful. I'm now kind of running with the radar, as it seems to have got worse as the game's gone on. Um, Flashes if you get hit by him a little bit slow. And I don't think he should have got me there, but I'm just shocking at the game, so yeah. It is what it is. Swapping max! Ah, uh, come on, reloading, damn it. I wanted to reload first time. I have changed my priority. Um, because unlike in the Warzone, you've got like contextual tap. In this, you haven't got that. You've got like priority. And it's like I've gone priority and reload that like one time. Um, let's see if I can find the option whilst I'm dead. Interact reload priority. It still doesn't seem to do that. Uh, I'll tap to reload. I could try that one. See if that looks good. Hardline, online. Reloading. I can't remember what the default option is. Oh, maybe that's where I've gone wrong because I've been holding square. I looked up at my UAV there because um, I saw someone else's go off. Um, and just run straight to my death instead. Securing objective power. These footsteps are way too loud. I hope he's got him. I don't know how many's in the building, but. Throwing thermite! Hostile counter UAV overhead. We control Bravo. Enemies securing Alpha. Enemies taking Bravo. Hostile UAV in the area. Objective power, 
Loading. Changing back. Change is not an option. Oh, come on. Saw the body and just a dead one. <laughs> a wee bit too jumpy, though. So that's a little bit too easy, still done. Um, so they've got A there, but because we've not got spawn, it's put us anywhere. I've noticed it, even if you get like, um, so we get C, as an example. Um, that's what I'm doing. So if we get seen out there running to our spawn, it will flip us around to A. So they've tried countering the um, on a little bit easier than like what it's done over here. So they have tried countering the. Enemy Still not enough. They have tried doing it a little bit more. So they made it a bit more like easy if you go too close to the base. Um, Set dust to stand on these spawn locations. We're taking Bravo. Uh, too long, I'll I have got a UAV. Let's get fucked. Requesting recon fire. Nice that much got killed. Shit. <laughs> Just as we lose, sweet. Yeah, we got hammered that game. <laughs> oh. It's hard for me to play. I'm not doing the same. Um, we'll test that proximity chat probably in another game. I'm gonna. Pull us out, go through the loadouts and stuff a bit better. Pro proximity chat is pretty cool. I've also had the old school like DEF comms on. Um, this is meant to be a first thoughts video, it's kind of been more of a live gameplay, or oh, well, it won't be live when you guys are watching it, but <laughs> live commentary as I've uh, been playing. And it's uh, kind of not going to plan, but it's, it's been fun. I'm not going to stop search just because sometimes it can take a bit to get into the game. Um, so, loadout wise, this is what I run about, so you have still got you know, your normal. Tacticals and lethals. I don't think anything's so much new on these. Um, that's taken us straight into a game. Back us out, back us out. Yep. We'll play around with this one. Um, so you've got a couple of guns which are still locked. There's ways around them. I made a video for this already. A um, couple of guns you can play with. I've noticed some of the guns you can unlock though, they're just locked to level one. I'm not fond of that because I quite liked this gun. I wanted to put attachments on it, but. It's locked at level one, so a bit disappointing, but is what it is. Um, I've got a feeling guns that are locked, which kind of like this one, might have another way around to unlock them, um, which just haven't discovered yet. So be interesting to see. A um, couple of guns elsewhere that we've uh, tested, like the Hurricanes on a default class, but you can actually, you know, you can level it up on the default, but um, you can actually test it out and put your own attachments on it, so this one is the only one you can really get to, is the Lapman Sub. Um, there's a couple of stuff, I think they're a bit limited with the attachments, um, and the guns you can actually customise for attachments, which is a bit disappointing, but the M4 you've got a good uh, selection of attachments um, going around, but like even the optics, kind of, you know, you've got a couple there, um, a couple of stocks, but some stuff that's quite, you know, restricted as to what you can actually use um, and how you want to use it. Uh, let's press the recall screen, let's read the control. Speed. Why haven't I got that one on? Stupid of me. Am I missing something else? I'm just. That's the better, yeah, I thought that was. Um, yeah, play with your guns, play with your attachments, you got different bits, do different stuff. It'd be nice to have a bit more of a variation as to what we could, what guns we can customise, um, what attachments we have. It is quite limited. Um, you can create your own perk packages as well as having the default ones across. Um, so you can have two of your base perks, and then two you unlock like through the match. I don't know quite how that works. Um, well, I don't know how you actually earn them in match. Like, I always seem to get them, but I don't know like what the what the requirements are. If that makes sense um, to get them, I've not looked into that. I probably should do. 
uh, if you know what it is put it in comments because anybody else that wanted the review would be you know nice to nice to know but it is nice you can go in you can create your own um, edit the perks and then you have like the full option as to like you know full selection of your base perks um, full selection of like you know your unlockable ones as well and then your um, ultimate perks so it's quite handy um, but nice to see some more perks in game, I think they're still going to be changing it. Field upgrades, I think that's a good selection. Uh, it's nice to know you're kind of probably going to have two options, so that'll be interesting to see as well. I've noticed a lot of people using deployable covers in campy little corners. Um, I suppose you're going to get that. Uh, some of these other ones are pretty cool as well. I'm not too sure what the point of the loadout drop is, because that just means you can change the loadout maybe midway through your life perhaps, but other than that, I don't really see the point. A couple of people have been using the, the inflatable decoy, which is quite um, funny. And it, to be honest, it can make you jump a couple of times if you weren't expecting it to be where it was. Uh, there's also a grenade, the drill charge. This uh, it basically it blows up the other side of the wall, um, which is actually quite interesting and useful. So if you know if someone's camping in a building, just chuck it up at the wall and just let it blow up the opposite side of it. Um, a little bit different but still very useful at the same time so probably worth using if you get the opportunity um, I'm still sticking with Fermites for now um, old school I probably would have used Semtex but the drill charge may be uh, the way forward for me if you know someone's camping just to clear them out I don't think we've got much else we haven't covered secondaries we've just got pistols and launchers unless you change it um, Again, they're quite limited with options. I think we're going to get more stuff to come. It's just a bit, so I'm not expecting everything. Um, I'm not sure if I like the perk stuff or not yet. I'll work that out eventually. The SMGs and ARs are they're okay for what we've got, but again, just for the better, I'd like to play with a couple more attachments and have more of an option with the SMGs and the ARs as to what we're kind of doing. Not just them, but like the other guns for a people which. You know, like quick scoping or using um, any other gun, really. So, like, it'd be nice to even get attachments on the shotgun because I didn't mind using the shotgun, um, especially before you get your unload out. So, um, it'd just be nice to have something a bit more to play around with, I think, with the guns and the attachments. But, is what it is. Um, I do hope you enjoy and do please like, comment, and subscribe.